was good y'all rich sosa back in the building with another banger man so first things first before we go ahead and get started i just want to go ahead and say thank y'all so much and thank you god for giving me another opportunity and man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new now, anybody who wants to join the Rich Gang family, be sure to go ahead and turn on post notifications, hit that like button, and do not forget to leave a comment down below when complete. So as y'all can see by the looks of the title and the screen, today, I am going to be bringing y'all three of the most rare, well-rounded, and unique builds in all of NBA 2K22 on next gen and first i'm telling you i got a very special build coming at y'all gonna be with the height of 6'6 183 for the weight with a 72 wingspan now what you want to go ahead and do when it comes down to the breakdown of what we're going to be looking like for the defensive end i'm going to go with a 64 interior defense as for the perimeter i'm going to go with the 77 86 steel then I'm going to max out that block, go with the 70 defensive rebound and a 40 offensive. Then for the physicals, I'm going to max out the speed, acceleration. Then as for when it comes down to our stamina, I'm going to go with a 96. And for now, the vertical is going to be brought up to a 68. Now, when it comes down to what we're going to be looking like for the finishing side of things, I'm also going to make sure that we are able to get a good amount of badges in each and every individual area of these bills that I bring to y'all today. So as y'all can see, with the driving dunk, I decided to bring it up to an 88, driving layup, a 90, and a 66 close shot for now. Then, for the post control, for badge purposes. I'm going to go with a 68, and that's going to bring us up to a total of 25 finishing badges. In my opinion, this is very solid, but if you want to go ahead and try to make this any other way, you definitely can make your own adjustments. So, let's go ahead and get back into what we're going to be doing. When it comes down to the shooting on this build, I'm going to go ahead and hit y'all with a free throw of 74 go with an 82 three-pointer and an 81 mid-range that's going to give us another total of 25 badges here and then the pretty much we do have the rest that we can use when it comes down to the playmaking also make sure you also hit it with a 70 vertical at least for the physicals then for the playmaking i'm going to go with an 83 speed with ball as for the ball handle i feel like 80 is going to be pretty solid and especially for this kind of build name you definitely want to keep the stats as they are because you have the risk of changing up the build name as well then from there i'm going to go with the pass accuracy of 66 that's going to give us bullet passer at least on bronze then for the takeovers we get the lockdown shot creating slashing and the sharp shooting all of these are very solid again it all really comes down to which area of this build you want to get boost on for me i would say with the lockdown and one of the shooting attributes and as y'all can see we have made coming up at number one the two-way balanced score build and i love the comparison of lonzo ball on this one let's go ahead and check out what we're going to be working with on the second build so i'm telling you every single one of these builds that i'm bringing to y'all today is definitely going to be a very rare unique name but also the way and what they're going to be able to do is what's going to make them that much more better so for this second build coming up i'm going to go with the height of 6'5". As for the weight, I'm liking what 175 is gonna be looking like as well as with a wingspan of 7'2". Now I know the physicals are easily one of the main and most essential parts of any build that I bring to y'all. So what I'm gonna do is max out my speed as well as my acceleration. Then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure my vertical goes up to a 75 and the stamina is gonna be brought up to a perfect 98. Now, when it comes down to what we're gonna be looking like for the finishing side of things. The driving layup, what I'm comfortable with on this field is gonna be in 85. Then from there, we also got the driving dunk, which is gonna be brought up to 85 as well. That's gonna be pretty even right here. Then, if you wanna go ahead and get more badges on this build, something that I would highly recommend is upgrading the close shot on this build. And right here, we're gonna be able to get a total of 21 badges. And this is only if you decide to go ahead and make this build the way that I'm making it. Now remember, 
can always make your own adjustments like I always let y'all know. But before we do get any further into the making of this build, we are already about to be more than halfway through this video and some of y'all have still not hit that like button, subscribed, or even dropped a comment down below. So what I want you to do right now, if you haven't done any of those, just comment down below where are you coming from what state or city are you staying in and also out of the three builds that i bring it to y'all today which of the three is your favorite build name and which one are you going to make for yourself so let's go ahead and get back into the making so as you can see right here when it comes down to the finishing a total of 21 badges is what we're going to be looking like then once we go ahead and get into the shooting i'm going to go with an 81 mid-range shot as well as with a three-pointer of 82 that's going to be maxed out, and that's going to bring us up to a total of 25 badges. For the free throw, I'm going to go with the 71, and right there, I feel like everything is going to be perfect. Then, we can go ahead and move on into the defensive end. Now, this is easily the most important and primary part of this build, in my opinion. What you want to make sure that you're doing when it comes down to it is with the attributes, if you go over a certain threshold. The build name is definitely going to change, and that is something that I do not want happening to y'all. So for the defensive end, I'm going to go with a perimeter defense of 77, 86 steel. Then for the block, this is pretty balanced at 71. Then also, once it comes down to what we're going to be looking like for the rebounding. 47 for the offensive, but that's going to be only brought up by the defensive rebound of 77. And I feel like all around, 20 badges for the defensive area is something that I feel like is honestly going to be very useful. Especially once you take into consideration, we are able to add badges to these builds if you did complete each and every season. You're going to be able to add around 10 extra badges. Then on top of all that, imagine with the takeovers, that's a plus 10 if you pick two different takeovers. On top of all that, if you do decide to run with teammates that are going to have badges, a floor general and defensive leader, that's going to give us even some more boosts and then as well as bind the boost individually. Right here for the playmaking, as you can see, we do end up with a total of 22 badges and I'm telling you, the way that we're looking I feel like everything is going to be very solid when it comes down to this build being maxed out at 99. Then on top of all that, we really have something to look forward to once you go ahead and take a look at which takeovers that we're going to be using. So when it comes down to it, we get the slashing, lockdown, shot creating, and also none other than the sharpshooting takeover. Now I know we have a good amount of options to pick from but these should all be based off of your own preference which one you feel like is going to put you in the best area for success so i'm going to leave it up to y'all but as you can see the build that we have created together is going to be called the balanced score now i got one final build remaining and i'm telling you this one out of all three is definitely going to be my favorite so i just want you to know if you did make it to the very end of this video, I really appreciate everybody who is still watching. So with this build, we are actually going to be making it out of the small forward position. Then once it comes down to the height, for my liking, I'm going to go with 6'6". As for the weight, 180 is going to be best in my opinion. And then for a perfect defensive presence, I'm going to bring my wingspan to a 7 but exactly wingspan now what you want to go ahead and do is make sure you keep the physicals as is this part is going to be very important for this build but let's go ahead and check out what we're going to be looking like once we go ahead and get into the breakdown of the actual attributes so for the shooting i'm going to go with a mid-range shot of 84 then once it comes down to the three-pointer i'm going to bring this up to an 84 as well and that's pretty much going to go ahead and max this out for that area then once it comes down to the free throw i'm going to bring this up to a 73 that's going to match up perfectly with the three pointer and the midi that's going to give us a total of 27 badges here and now we still got to go ahead and get into the rest of the build so honestly whichever area of this build that you feel like you're going to change if you do make your own adjustments just remember out of all three builds, this one is the most strict when it comes down to maintaining certain attributes to still get the same build name that we will be getting today. So, for the defensive end, I'm going to go with an interior defense of 62. 
Then, once it comes down to the perimeter, 85 is really balanced in my opinion. And then also, we got to go ahead and get some steel as well. So I'm going to go with an 86. As for the block, I feel like 75 is going to be very solid. Especially once you go ahead and add on the takeover, including boosts. And then on top of all that, we even have badges that are really going to help us out with getting certain animations. So, for the rebounding on this build, this is also a very important part of this build. What I'm going to go ahead and do is bring up my defensive to around the 70s range. What I feel like is going to be best is if we do go with a 71 defensive rebound and an offensive of 41. That's going to bring us up to a total of 21 badges. And remember, we still do have the physicals to work with. And then on top of all that, we got the playmaking and finishing to work with as well. So if you feel like you see anything that you want to go about differently, make sure you are just very careful when it comes down to switching the attributes around. Now, pretty much this is what the build is going to be looking like as far as for the defensive end and the shooting. So when it comes down to the finishing, I'm going to go with a driving dunk of a 92. Then I'm going to bring up my vertical to an 80. And that is going to allow us to get the elite contact dunks. Now, I would definitely keep this on as is if you want to change anything about it. Go ahead and do so and make sure it's all based off of your own preference. But from there, when it comes down to what we're going to be looking like for the driving layup and the close shot. These are definitely main attributes of the build. But honestly, I feel like you got to be very careful when it comes down to this specific build with changing attributes because of the build name. Now from there, I'm going to max out my speed with ball. As for the ball handle, I'm going to go with an 80. Then with the pass accuracy, I'm going to bring this up to an 80 as well or an 81. That's going to bring us up to a total of 26 badges there. And then from here, we still do have the physicals to work on. So in my best interest for everyone, what I would really consider to do is make sure you at least upgrade the speed and the acceleration. If you want to go about it differently, you definitely can do so. But as you can see, I was able and we were to fulfill every single area of the build that we needed to but man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you're new and also be sure to go ahead and turn on post notifications hit that like button and drop a comment down below when complete i love y'all and again thank you god for giving me this opportunity once again let's go ahead and check out the build name and as y'all can see together we have created the one and only all around two-way build again thank y'all to those of you who made it to the end have a great day a great start to your week as well and with all that being said i got one last thing to say thank god and rich out.